In this video, we're applying propagation of error to a formula that was derived in a projectile motion problem. So the setup for the problem was actually a projectile launched horizontally from an initial height of H. It's observed to have a horizontal range of R before the projectile hits the ground. And the formula we're looking at tells us how to calculate the muzzle velocity of that projectile based on how high it started and how far it went. So we get the initial speed of the projectile as r times square root g over 2h, where r is the range, h is the initial height, and little g, of course, is the acceleration of gravity. So then we're told the measurements that we actually took in the lab. We have an initial height of 1.05 plus or minus 0.01 meters, so there's a little bit of uncertainty in that. And then we have a range of 2.57 plus or minus 0.03 meters. We're also told, just for the sake of simplifying things, that we're going to adopt an exact value of g. Now, in reality, g varies a little bit all over the surface of the Earth, but there is a standard exact value that people use of 9.80665 meters per second squared. And because we're calling that exact, there's no plus or minus on it, and it simplifies our calculations a little bit. So then the problem here is that we want to calculate the launch speed of the projectile, in other words, find v naught, but then put the appropriate uncertainty on it by using propagation of errors. So we start with the calculation of v naught itself, and we plug in r there, 2.57 meters, and then for g we use 9.80665, and again we're calling that an exact value of g, and then we have in the denominator a 2 times h, and the h, the initial height of the projectile, was 1.05 meters. And when I run the numbers through my calculator, I get something like 5.55 37 meters per second. So I just kept a bunch of extra digits for now because I'm not really sure what decimal place is going to be addressed by the final uncertainty here. So I'm just playing it safe by keeping a lot of extra digits. Now the actual uncertainty in this muzzle velocity, the V naught, is found by using a propagation of errors formula. And I'll just remind you how this was initially stated. I said something like this, if a variable Z is proportional to one measured variable raised to an exponent, so x to the m power, and another variable raised to some other exponent, then you can write down the relative uncertainty in z, so that's the uncertainty in z divided by z itself, and that's going to be the square root of m times relative uncertainty in x, all squared, in other words, that exponent comes out in front before you do the squaring in that term, and then a similar term for y, so n times delta y over y, all squared. So if we apply that idea to the context that we're looking at here, we have two measured variables, and that was r and h. So we can say v naught is proportional to r to the first power, and then an h to the negative one half power, because it's in the denominator inside of a square root. And then remember the g, we're considering that to be exact, so we don't have to worry about any contribution to the uncertainty coming from g. So applying this formula, we get the delta v naught over v naught, the relative uncertainty in the velocity, is given by the square root of, for the variable r, we had an exponent of 1, so I don't even have to write that. So I just get a delta r over r, and the delta r was 0 0.03, so I have 0 0.03 divided by 2.57, and I'm going to square that. And then for my h term, I had an exponent of negative 1 half. Well, the minus sign doesn't matter, because when I square it, I'm going to get a positive contribution. So I'm just going to write 1 half out in front. And then my delta h was 0 0.01, and h itself was 1.05, and we square that. And when I smash those numbers into a calculator, I get something like 0 0.0126, and we still need to figure out what the actual uncertainty in the velocity is. So what we're looking at here is delta v naught over v naught. That's a relative uncertainty. So when I look at that 0 0.0126, that actually means there's about a 1.26% uncertainty in the velocity. Now to solve for the actual uncertainty in the velocity, I still have to multiply both sides by that v naught. So I'm going to take this previous answer, 0 0.0126, the relative uncertainty in velocity, and then multiply it by the velocity itself, which was like 5.5537. And this is going to give us an uncertainty on our velocity. And that turns out to be about 0 0.0700. Now in my classes, I generally have students round the uncertainty to one significant digit. So I'm just going to write it as a 0 0.07. And then we round the actual calculated value, in other words, the velocity in this case, we round it to the same decimal place addressed by that uncertainty. So we're going to round to the hundredths place. 
So finally, we can write our answer as V naught equals 5.55 plus or minus 0 0.07 meters per second. And we're done. If you enjoyed this video or at least found it useful, check out another one by clicking one of the links on the left or click the Zach's Lab logo on the right to explore dozens of physics and math playlists. As always, you can leave your questions, comments, and requests in the comments section below, and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. Thanks for watching Zach's Lab, and best of luck on your math and physics journey.